Hi friends, I'm Victoria. Welcome to Fortuna Cucina. This is my son Cameron and today we are going to be making some special French toast. Now if you guys have no idea what this is in this box here, um, let me tell you, like as you might have gathered, um, part of my heritage is Italian. And so this is panettone. I found one at Whole Foods. You can get these in all flavors. It's like a sweet bread. It's not quite like a fruit cake. Um, it has different types of dried fruit in them. Sometimes you can get them and they're chocolatey. I really like the lemon one. There's one with dried apricots that's super yummy. But what I found is this makes an amazing French toast. The other day we were in Whole Foods and I said, oh my gosh, they have their panettone out for the holidays. And Cameron said, what's panettone? And I was like, oh, I failed as a mother. So we are going you to- You have not failed. Oh, thank you. So um, today we're gonna be making our panettone um, French toast. And what we're gonna be doing, I'm just gonna open up the box here so you can see what it looks like. I think we're going to have to start down here. Oh, you think from the bottom? We're going to be cutting up our panettone, and that's what we're going to use as our French toast. This is super easy, and it looks really fancy by the time that you're done. And, um, okay, so there we go. So this what is a panettone. Just put it in the trash. Okay. So this is a pan... This is a panettone. Let me get it out of the thing. And we're just gonna be slicing it up and using it like regular French toast. Now, if you haven't made French toast before, it's super easy. And if you have guests coming in from out of town, this is like, you seem like you're so fancy. It's not like pancakes, it's French toast. So get some good bread. And what does it smell like to you? Dried fruit. It smells like dried fruit. And you can see that there's some little dried fruit on the top. Should I get the pie tin out? Um, why don't we get um, a cutting board and a knife and we'll cut into it first. Okay. Okay, Cameron, do you want to cut this? You can leave the paper on because we're going to sure. take the paper off. But go ahead and you can just cut right into it because I want everybody to see what it looks like on the inside. Just keep going. Keep going. There you go. And you probably can't see at this angle, but I have a ginormous, very sharp Wusthof bread knife that Cameron's using. Okay, that's good. And, ooh, this is... <laughs> so this is what the inside of the panettone looks like. Again, it's a sweet bread. There's usually dried fruit in there. Um, one point that I wanted to make before we get started, because I'm going to show you step by step how to make this French toast. Um, I think it's really important if you have kids to get them in the kitchen and teach them how to cook. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not a boy thing. Okay, let me tell you, eating is an everybody thing. And True. I think it's really important to teach your boys how to cook as well. So I know with my stepson, he does know how to make a couple basic things. He will not starve if we are not around. He will not starve. And, I, and so I've been trying to do the same with Cameron as well. So what are some things that you know how to cook? Basic French toast. Basic French toast, nachos, quesadillas. So you will not starve. Right, and so I'm gonna show you step by step on my aerial camera how we do this, but first I'm gonna show you, so this does come with some paper, okay? So Cameron just cut it in half. Okay, and we're taking off the paper. And so here's what half of the panettone looks like. We're gonna to wanna to cut this thick, probably like a half an inch thick at least. Okay. Should I get the ruler? Go ahead, no, you don't need the ruler. Okay because we're going to eyeball it. Dang it. <laughs> this one did <laughs> This one didn't. But anyway, this it's practice, right? My point is get your kids in the kitchen. Teach them some skills. Everybody eats. Everybody needs to know how to make a meal. Um, everyone this, requires food. Everyone requires food. So, cooking doesn't have to be perfect, but I think it's a good skill to put learn. Put down the bread knife. Yes, put down the bread knife. It's it's a good skill to learn. Everybody needs to learn this. So what we're going to do is, do you remember what the next step is? Uh, get out the pie tin. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that out and we're gonna get out what? The eggs. Eggs and some milk. And this is where you can get really creative. So I like to use this this pan. You need something that has a little bit of a lip on it. And this is where we're gonna put our eggs. So we're gonna put a couple eggs and some cinnamon and a little bit of milk in there. I'll get the eggs in the milk. Okay, we're just gonna start out by putting just a little bit of egg, milk, cinnamon, or pumpkin pie mix, or whatever sounds good to you. Or if you wanna be really fancy, you can make some cinnamon sugar and sprinkle that on top when it's done. You can really take this to the max and do whatever you want. You can also um, do some fun things like you can add cream cheese to your French toast. You can get super fancy. But for now, we're just gonna stick with the regular plain old French toast. I'll do the aerial view so you can see what it looks like. And um, yeah, we're done with this step. So let's get going with the eggs. Okay, so our first batch is done. Look how yummy this looks. You used more syrup than I did. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna test it. And I pre-cut mine. You pre-cut yours? Okay. That's really good. So good. Which was so easy. This is perfect for Christmas morning. You can actually do a casserole type thing that my husband does for times like Christmas morning where he cuts up, pre-cuts up all the bread, puts in some cream cheese and some other stuff. I'll have to have him on to show how he does this. But this is really yummy. I think this is great for like if you're having a special breakfast or Christmas morning or whatever. All right, friends. We're going to finish our breakfast. You have a great day. And remember, get your kids in the kitchen. This is so yummy and so easy. Anyone can do this. Comment below. Let me know if you tried the... Even I can do this. Even I can do this. Let me know if you tried the French toast panettone or if you're planning on doing so. And let me know which flavor it is because, oh, I love them all. All right, friends. Take care and I'll be seeing you in the next video.